faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights look at fire And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at the beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me Drive a faster car I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Welcome to Truck and Travel, I'm Derek I'm Cinnamon And we're entering Pennsylvania oh. Cinnamon is trying to get the miles so she can keep track Did we even talk about this stuff yet? Uh, no, I don't think we did Okay Um, we're really excited about the slow because, um decent pay and then when we called about it and then we asked if it needed to be turned they said yes and we're like dang we're like well we'll take it you know we'll take it because we had a, a load that um we were on the way to go pick up and he had emailed it was a new burger that we set up with and it was my fault because he emailed us and he had a couple lines that said you know please send your w9 your authority you know the regular stuff and then there's a space and it had some more and I didn't read that bottom part because I was just in a hurry to get everything filled out because we didn't look, we weren't too far away from uh, the pickup. So I was trying to get everything through so we could get the address and all that. When she says not too far away, we was under 100 miles. So. Right. Um, so I didn't read like that bottom part and the bottom part said, P.S. the shipper canceled the load but we'll still fill out the carrier packet so that you guys are set up with us for future loves. Um, and so I sent everything in and then I'm like, uh, let me know if you need anything else for the rate con to be sent. And he said, I sent it in earlier, you know, email. And so I'm like, crap. And so I went back and read it and I'm like, yep. <laughs> you know, I should have read the whole thing at, at first. So that's a little lesson. Make sure that you read the whole thing before you continue um, because the email that he sent that he said it was canceled was almost an hour prior prior yeah. yeah so we wouldn't have even probably not left yeah so we dealt it driving for nothing so anyway so we called the next load uh, and then we found out it was tarped and we're like well you know we had looked at the load board we didn't really see anything else so okay there's you know we'll just, that's it it's not bad weather so we'll just have to tarp it so we get there and he's like, um, I bet it's something over here that's not that's laying out, but they still want it tarped. <laughs> so that was outside. They, they put it on, we strapped it down, and um, I went to go get paperwork, you know, before we started tarping. And Derek's like, why don't you ask if it's a tarp load? And I'm like, okay. So I went in and because I, it was outside. Yeah, and I went in and I said, you know, so we noticed that the load was. Uh, was uh, sitting outside, you know, not covered or anything like that. Doesn't need to be tarped. And she's like, I put it as a tarp load, but no, it doesn't need to be tarped. So I'll go ahead and cross that off and uh, on the BOL. So uh, just to make sure it says it's not a tarp load. And I, you know, I definitely thanked her and stuff. And I was so excited about that. So always ask just to double check. But when you ask, don't be like, 
do we have to tarp it or anything like that? Just, you know, um, does, this, does this need tarps, you know? So then that way you, you get hired again, you know, also. Because I think if you were like, does this need to be tarped, you know? Anyways. Well, uh, I think we made a good impression on the shipper because it's been a while since we've been there and she remembered us. Yeah, so, I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, and I may or may not have given her a hug when she said it doesn't need to be tarped. <laughs> but it was kind of funny because um, uh, we knew that it closed at a certain time and we were asking also because we wanted to hurry and stuff. And she proceeded to tell me the story about how she accidentally uh, locked a driver in the gate and stuff because they had pulled around and they were behind the building but still in the gates. And she said she did a walk through and he was done like two hours before you know they were gonna lock the gate so she thought he had already left i don't know why he didn't at that point but um and so he had to like call people and then she had to come back and let him out of the gate and stuff <laughs> so i told her you know well at least he got out <laughs> so i don't think she'll live too far away to be able to unlock it for him so i'd probably be scary but so anyways, we don't have to tarp it. Yay! Celebration! What is this thing weigh? Um, it's like 15,000... 700 or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Um, and you can feel it when yeah, we it, it do feels, stops. It almost kind of feels thing. like it's heavier than that, but... We can take up to 16.5, so it's okay. Yeah. She's heavy. Yeah. But, um... So we're really excited. Again, that it's not tarp. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's going to, uh, yeah, Niagara Falls, and the thing that stinks is that we can't, I don't think we can go visit if we're out time and stuff. Yeah, we don't know if there would be anywhere we could really park that would be in walking distance or not. Yeah. We'll check it out and see where it's at and all that, so. And how we feel. Yeah. It's a beautiful day, though. Um, it's not totally hot or anything like that. Um, this weekend I did garden though and I didn't put sunscreen on so I'm still burnt from that and it really stinks to be in the truck and bouncing and stuff because it was like on my on my back. Um, but it's not too hot outside. There's a little cool breeze. It just it feels very nice. So very excited about the weather and everything. So let us know in the comments what it's like in your neck of the woods. We like to always see what it's like all over the United States. Because I think, like, it was it Idaho where they still have, like, a danger of frost all the way up until June? Oh, I believe it. Parts of Idaho. Yeah. yeah. I think Dirt Patch Heaven, she's a, a YouTuber that we know, um, does homesteading and stuff. Uh, I think I heard that from her, that, you know, the last danger of frost was in June for us in Ohio where we're at. Uh, if you plant after Mother's Day then you should be fine. There shouldn't be any more danger of frost but that's just crazy how it's still so cold you know. We really shouldn't can complain about it being cold in Ohio because there's other places where it's worse. <laughs>
you, sir. You're welcome. You have a nice day now. You too. Nice guy. Yeah. Let's see if this white car on the right tries to pass yeah. us illegally like an idiot. And there they go. Welcome to New York! <laughs> I don't think that was a New York car either. I'm yeah. not going to say where it was from. <laughs> Yeah, welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. <laughs> Are you gonna say welcome to New York every time we go over something like that? I don't know what I was thinking about. <laughs> Got a lot of trees. A lot of trees in New York. <laughs> Come see the tree state. What is New York known for other than New York City or just New York City? I don't know. If you know, let us know in the comments. A lot of green. Yeah. And it's so weird because Lake Erie's like right over there, but you can't see it from here. Yeah. But it's like right there. 67 dropped down to 4 degrees at 71 yeah. not too long ago. So just being near the water. Yeah. It's crazy. Did you see our ticket? All right, so now we're gonna stop. Continue at a, on route. We're gonna continue on route. We're gonna stop at this rest area so we can have a little restroom break. Uh, this is one of our favorite little rest areas, just because it's unique with the walking across the what do you call it? The bridge there, just to get to the other side. Not completely in the lines, but. Back up real quick. Oh, wait, well. Over seventy feet. Edge protectors. Um, over it so it doesn't tear up our straps and stuff. Um, and so we have a strap on all of them, and then we have two on each end. Um, and every stop that we do, we've been checking them and making sure that you know nothing's moved or anything like that. So. And the straps are good. Yeah, and they are pallets, so they could have been lined up side by side, but this is just easier. If, if we're only taking one thing and it's safer route we're going to choose a safer route even if it takes more time to add more straps and I don't know what that car is doing he seems to be confused that's all right <laughs> but yep this is our load How they feel? They feel very good. Good. Very secured, so we're good.
Uh, yes, please. How's your day going? Not too bad. Yeah, what? is that okay? <laughs> okay. You look beautiful. There you go. Thank you. Have a good one, you guys. <laughs> that one girl peeked back out. Shoot, where am I going? East. They're both east, right? Yeah. What did she say when she said no? She didn't want to be on camera. She said to leave that part. Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me.